Where's the fire gonna be? Where are I? Yo, unironically, and I've been feeling like Jamel because of this, every time that Montero comes on in my, in like, <laughs> rotation, I'm, I, it'll be like 7.30 in the morning going to first period of my, uh, of teaching. And like, I'm pulling into my parking lot, jamming out to the gayest shit. <laughs> and it's like, thing, it's like if a single student sees this, it's like, <laughs> you just pull up to the fucking school, just need a boy. <laughs> Gotta win me all night. <laughs> Got the G, the V. Fuck the one I envy. So I will bring it. I'll just bring it to the world map for this because the map, the map should definitely not be necessary. You're showing roll twenty. <clears throat> I don't know if that matters. I no. I, I'm not, I mean, I'll, if I have to, I'll just. Oh, fuck it. I'll just pull this to the side. Just on the off chance I do. <laughs> Pass it off like a hoe. See, I'll just be coming out here with the. The crazy yeah, shit. Acting, acting like he go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I like how Luciano's the only one coming out with me tomorrow. Dude, this yeah, fucking, so yeah, fucking, I fucking, I told the dude, fuck, I, like, I was sitting there like, what am I doing for Eddie? Fucking, what am I doing for Eddie? I forgot I fucking, uh, I'm going bowling with, uh, with an old friend. I scheduled that shit like four weeks ago. Yeah. Bowling? I thought you hated bowling. I hate bowling. I just haven't seen this guy in a long time. You just All like right. this guy. It's Max, Alex, by the way. Oh, it's Max? Oh, yeah. shit. You know, that was the first name that came to my head but i wasn't gonna ask yeah. so i was like there's no way that you still yeah, have been trying to guy. link up with him for like fucking a year now actually <laughs> okay so damn crazy all right let's do this <sighs> open this up i got my odst shirt on all right, right uh i won't even we won't even bother catching uh alex up on the logistics of what happened last uh when he left he, he could just find out when he shows up in yeah, character maybe it's better that way too I mean, do I make it so, like, I make it through that farm no, full of dead bodies? <laughs> I mean, the only, yeah, the only thing... Actually, no, this would be something worth role-playing, actually. Or not role-playing, but something to mention, just to see. Just to, you know... You take the designated path back, and you come to that... You come to the same valley that they were upon, and you just you find all the corpses. <laughs> uh-huh. Alright. Right. Um, yeah. I mean... Yourself? I look... I mean, I look around. I nod. And I say, uh, I kind of like say to myself, like, I'm glad they're still in good spirits. And I keep walking. Alright, yeah, and then like, you would, um, you would keep going. But, before that, you would even get there, this is happening, uh, about the same time. As you're like, I'd say about the same time, maybe a little bit before you approach, that you reach that, uh, that ridge. So, last week, uh, last week I left you, I literally left you standing at the door, uh, I left you guys standing at the door, and you were about to walk in. So, you can proceed from here. You're standing at the door, as like those other one of the other squads just ran in. They said, "Let's go, let's go, uh, uh Oda. I mean, uh, uh, Arbor. Let's get in here." <laughs> yeah, we fucking uh, and he goes, eh, uh, uh, "Oda, uh, Arbor, uh, fucking." <laughs> Everybody goes, "There you go." He's uh, joking. He's open the door. Yeah. All right open the door uh and it's just a big crowded room of uh people um uh all right people saying healy uh, everyone's just kind of around this war table like huddled around um and as you walk in Imagining, uh, the... dracula's war count counselor <laughs> yeah the council room as you, kind of, as you walk in literally like the whole room just like uh stops like the commotion stops for a second they all look at you um and they just pause for a second and then they kind of go back with the, to what they're doing. And what the people people of note that you see in this room, you see the shipmaster. Okay. You see Fuhrer, who is okay. uh, who's wounded. There's only one other person I care about at this point. Uh, and you see the Arbiter standing in the okay. center Okay. All my homies. <laughs> Everyone's alive. Let's go. Everyone who matters is alive. That I remember matters. Okay. Wow, fuck, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> You, you don't know if I'm alive. <laughs> and they're all sitting on this war table. He said what he oh, said. Oh, but Fear's wounded. What are his wounds? <laughs> Fear's wounded. He's just, he's like sitting in the corner. Like, you know Fear. Like, yeah. he's sitting in the corner and he's like kind of like holding his arm. And he's got like a, uh, he's got a bird. Mm. He's, he's kind of fucked up. He's being tended to by, uh, by some medics. Uh, uh, Ega uh, would I go over. I was going to say, Ega, you, yeah. you are kind of like the head, the head medic. Yeah, Ego would go over and like push him out of the way and start tending to him. So as you tend to the wounds, 
he looks up and he goes, Ah, uh, Iga, is that you? Can you not see me? Yeah, he sees you. He just like as you no. like tend to be he's like kinda like wincing in pain. He like he's like ah. uh. and then like you push he hears closer, he like looks up you or he's like sitting there. I shouldn't even say he looks up, he like just looks forward because mm-hmm. he's so tall and he's still even with you. And yeah. he's like, Iga, is that you? Oh my god. It's good to see you safe. Yeah, glad to see you're alive. And he goes, ah, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Ugh, I'm gonna smash Forkham's head in when I get the chance. <laughs> what happened? Ah, oh, we were moving to the fob to launch the invasion at when the fucking the glassing happened. I it was on, I was on the Phantom. Our Phantom took a, it it went down, and I on the way down, I uh, I caught, I was I shielded uh, this Phantom uh, door was open. And I used to shield my men. Ooh, it burns. <laughs> ah. and he's literally just like he, he's like uh being like you know as like a kid he's just being like dramatic and stuff like that yeah and, you know but uh you know he as you said he uh the uh lat would come in and he goes yes he goes rest for rest now fear you, you did me a great service and uh it kind of clicks with you at that moment that like one of his men that he was shielding because lat is kind of his uh his uh, his master if he was like a lap dog or his sh- chauffeur i would use that's not the right mm-hmm. he's kind of his uh his chauffeur or his babysitter even better he's his babysitter uh and he's like thank you for what you did and like he wanted he was probably one of the one that he shielded from the blast when the mm-hmm. fan went down um Oda, what would you do here? Everyone, as, like, Ego rushes over to fear, uh, everyone else is, like, it's, like, one big... Everybody's, like, in their own groups, like, discussing, uh, like, what to do next. Like, what are your men doing? Like, everybody's getting accountability right now, basically. Yeah, it's a freaking... Uh, uh, Oda would walk up to Shipmaster uh, and fell, and if they're talking, he would just sort of stand there. He, he looks at you, and he goes... Uh, Arbiter, our task looks at you, is just Shipmaster, and he goes, uh... Goes, ah made it back good and arbiter looks at you and he's are you all right how was the mission <clears throat> we secured this we secured the civilians we found in the city what's next and he goes uh he looks around he goes next i assume would be getting your accountability where is where's zoro and then he freaking um <laughs> uh he immediately uh, goes to try the comms again hmm. uh comms are you're getting static at this point, but you can you can tell they're coming back. They're, they're coming back. Like you hear like chatter's like, what? Well, the oh, they yeah, should be okay. back uh, shortly. He's like, um, Zoro had something in the city that he uh, needed to investigate. We let him split off, and um, well, then the glassing happened. I'm sure he's fine. He's resourceful, but he's not with us currently. Investigate. What do you mean need? needs to investigate and he goes and he goes to ask you to explain he goes now's not the time he goes, I... it might be the time actually it could be pertinent what is it then <clears throat> to your knowledge we we're we were the only ones receiving um support from the unsc correct yes well when one of the civilians we rescued a woman and her child the woman had uh, UNSC standard issue assault rifle. Zora went to check out the um, Zora went to check out the police station in the city, and he found a full arsenal of them, De- uh, uh, dozens of them. That city, as an independent state, was also receiving support from the UNSC. He kind of he looks flabbergasted for a second. He goes, um, "I suppose you." Uh, I'd say he looks puzzled for a second. He kind of stoically puts his hand to his jowls once more and he goes, and he sits there silently for a minute and he looks at Artas and he goes, do you know anything about this Artas? And he looks back and he goes, he just nods. No. Um, he goes, damn it. The fuck is going on? What are the implications of this? He goes, I don't know yet, but all I know is the only man who'd have answers to my questions is dead. Do I know who he's referring to, or do I have to ask? I mean, you. you I'm assuming. Have no idea. Uh, I have no I mean, idea. Okay. Can, who do you assume? Tell me. I mean, I'm assuming it's fucking um. Uh. McGillicuddy. Oh no. No. You could say that if you okay. want. Oh no, yeah. So 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 you'd ask him, um, who who are you referring to? Who did we lose? That would have this information. 
Unfortunately, during the glassing, Yiha was still at the main operating base, who is the head, head and chief commander of the Fury Warriors, along with many of their top lieutenants. They're in, dis, they're in complete disarray right now. They were staying back to, to, overview, to oversee the invasion while me and the others uh, spearheaded it on the, on, the, on the battlefield itself. And now, most of them are dead. All their, most of their leadership is dead, caught in the glass. We only just made it out in time. Fear was was on the last phantom out, uh, prep prepping, finish up preparations on the, on the invasion. <clears throat> well, um, <clears throat> well, what, what could that mean? What, do we think the UNSC are against us? Maybe not overtly, well, but maybe they have something else to gain. One thing's for sure, they've got more than one toe in this pool at this point. I wouldn't directly say that they're against us. I mean, after all, the Fury Warriors were one of our closest allies as when we started at the time of uh, starting to receive um, <clears throat> at the time of starting to receive uh, shipments. It's possible that it just doesn't make sense. It's possible that they could have been giving them supplies and expecting expected each, us each other to fill each other in but it just doesn't make sense why they wouldn't tell us themselves well let's focus on things that do make sense then and then he'd uh, look to he'd um sort of uh look down and look up at the and go um so this accelerates things naturally um Vorkum of course has more ships and he's shown what he's willing to do and he slams as, as that and he slams his hand on the war map not like loud enough that like it brings the entire uh, room to a halt but it's just like he's like mad he's like and Vorkum will never get the chance again he's like we knew he was a madman we knew he was crazy but to sacrifice an entire flagship with with thousands of me elites grunts and other races on ship just at a cheap shot at our leadership just never thought of it I'm not surprised he's like He's like, I don't know whether to call him a madman or to call him a tactical genius, or to call him a, a genius. So madman suits it. Mm. There's a genius theme. seems inappropriate. Mm. There's a theme. There's sometimes there's a thin line between the two. It doesn't make a difference either way. He needs to be stopped. And right now, what we need to do is get accountability. He goes. Most of the swords of, are uh, are accounted for. We only had very few. Uh, we only left very few behind with the. Uh, uh, at the main operating base, only enough for our uh, for our operators to relay any messages we need to relay back. And same with many with many others. Many just left operators uh, back, and we most of our attacking force was a uh, was a uh, was Fury Warriors. So for the most part, it was a lot of their leadership that was left back there. Well, a lot of the, the foot most of our foot troops for the invasion was was them as well. They're, they're split, no leadership. So their their higher ranking NCOs right now are trying to get accountability, see who's who's even next in line. He's like, right now we're trying to do the best we can. Radio's not even back on yet. We can't even get messages anywhere. What of the um? What of the fleet we acquired from the Cold Embers? Last we heard, it was about. A week and a half to two weeks away, but after this moves, um, I'll have them working around the clock. We can't waste any more time, but we need our comms back up. Then he, uh, at that point, Oda would try the comms again. It's the same, same thing. Still static. Yeah, okay. Still static. Um, you say if anybody it. wants to roll a knowledge technology check, you can give it a shot. <laughs> I know none of you are trying. Not even gonna try. You might, if you want, you can give it a shot. Yeah, Oda, Oda doesn't even. This room is definitely filled with people who are better at this than him. He's not even gonna try. Uh, he, you said, you said, you found a civilian with the with the UNSC tech, did you not? And he he would say, um, uh, yes, we did. And speaking of which, um, we um, <clears throat> we uh, yes, we we found we found a civilian, a woman and her child. The woman had stolen a UNSC rifle and was defending herself and her child with it. Another civilian we found was a, a man who previously served on a Covenant starship. Uh, exactly like exactly like the one that glassed our base. 
I figure, well, if you'll have him, he might have some expertise to to um to uh bring in. And then he would look at Artas and go, unless of course you have all of that. Uh, he nods, and then Arbiter nods as if you forget that I myself am the shipmaster. Arbiter's the shipmaster too. Yeah, I mean, hey, Sh- shipmaster is just like a term for anybody who leads a flagship. So Artas yeah. led a flagship. Arbiter was okay. the shipmaster. So gotcha, gotcha. All right, but I, but um, I guess the thing that that he's trying to get at is that like you, you know how like the man, the man, the management at a place might not really know how the elbow grease of the, the place works or whatever. You know how like like how you know this, this guy was like in that shit. He was actually he was he was on the he was doing the the dirty work. So you know he might he might have some uh, uh, shit to offer, but he, he might not. I'm leaving that to them. No, he goes no. He says no. I need. He goes. I myself am a shipmaster. Anything we need from an engineer is still in the shadow in the tent. He's got a whole crew on his flagship. Yeah. Okay. Well, so. All right. He, he's just you just found another crew member basically. Yeah. Okay. He has and the, plenty of. Yeah. And then he'd go. Um. He'd say. Uh. True. I I kept him around because I didn't know if uh well any of you were alive. And well, it seems he's not needed. You yeah. know, it'd be hard to let him know that though. He seemed excited. He just nods. He goes, well, good thinking. Any, uh, way, way to think ahead. Any, and he, uh, he goes, bring me to this woman. And he, he goes, and he looks back at Artas. He goes, Artas, you've got things settled here. You can uh, finish up what we're doing. And he nods back as he goes, I'll finish it, Arbiter. And he, and he, he looks at you to lead him to uh, the woman with the AR. All right. After, uh, after tending to fucking. Oh yeah, roll medical names? check. Yeah. I was gonna say after I'm done like messing with him, I would go see if anybody else is hurt though. Medical. Hold on a second. Is that a skill? Yeah. There you go. That's how you heal people. Before I do that, I need to. Uh, I think I'm a plus, but I guess I'll just roll it for now. Ninety-six. Uh, it is what it is. Yeah, you kind of, you try to tend to him as best you can, but with your lack of knowledge on, you know, the fact that he's like genetically modified, he's just kind of like, just kind of throw your hands up, and you're like, mm-hmm. fuck. And uh, the other medics just look at it's you. Like, they're like, they're like, there's plenty. Nigga, of you ones. got three orders. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. This is like the equivalent of like a fucking space marine in fucking Warhammer. Like this dude's got like <laughs> fucking multiple organs. You're like, I, I have no fucking idea what I'm looking at. Yeah. Uh, he lets, uh, but, uh, you throw your hands up and the other medic's like, we- we've got it from here. There's plenty of other work to be done. Uh, he goes, the medical tent's at, uh, is it around the corner from building 17? If you, if you, uh, I suggest you go over there. Uh, he would inform Oda. Be like, I'm gonna go tend to the other injured. You handle this. And he would take off. But also, I was rolling against a fucking 74, bro. Yeah, That's some it. bullshit, man. All right. Uh, so uh, when you get to the medical tent, uh, uh, we'll before we get to the test. medical tent, um, oh wait, no, never mind. Yeah, uh, you're talking to him, so never mind. Uh, no, uh, you head to the medical tent. All right. So you show up, uh, and just you just kind of like you show up. He goes, "What's wrong?" And someone gives you he's like, "Ah, uh, patient, that patient over there needs help." And he looks and he's like, "Oh, eager, good, good, good. Yeah, patient uh, seventeen over there needs help." And you just like you rush him. You just kind of get to doing your your thing. Yeah. Dude, right. I really wanted you to roll really good on that. <laughs> I had a, whole, a zero. I had a, a zero. I had a whole like really cool thing, uh, fucking in my head. If you just like rolled really well, but sorry, you just, Damn, you like you that. just do your job. The dice yeah. didn't do it for me. Yeah. But yeah, um, b- before we get to this, uh, to where the civilians are, um, I want to ask. Uh, I'm I'm with Thel, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna ask him. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him. Um, I'll just just be wary. This this woman is a uh. She's very protective of her child, and, um, she, well, I don't really have a solid read on how she feels about us. Um, she seems, uh, compliant, um, co- what's the word? Ah. Uh, she's, she, she's good. She's, she's a, she, she's a good one. She's an ally. But, um, she's very protective of her child, um, and she's skeptical of, um, well, everyone. But you should get along well with her. She um seemed to have a bit of reverence for you somewhat. Her child certainly does. Mm. W- what do you intend to ask her? I intend to ask her what she knows about why the city has shipments of UNSC tech that you may have been strapped for time for. At, at the moment, we can't... We're stuck. It's like, we've done most of our accountability. We've, we're, we're 
more not stable as chaotic as things may look. <laughs> but until our comms get back on, we can't make a next move. Yeah. I did ask her a small amount about that. Um, she it's she said that it was it was always there. It was something she knew she knew of. Um, and to be fair, she's a civilian who just picked up the rifle. I wouldn't grill her too hard. I don't intend to grill her. I just intend to ask her a couple of questions. Um, All right. So he walks in. Um, <clears throat> and <clears throat> fuck, he walks in uh, with you. Uh, and he goes, oh, and as you guys walked out, you guys would have seen, uh, Grek. Uh, and do you say anything to, to Grek? Oh, yeah, I would just wave him over. We're gonna uh, tell him to walk with us. Okay. He go. he looks, uh, he catches an eye behind him right before you guys, because he's like, is this the, the shipmaster, or the, not shipmaster, the, uh, this flagship work, uh, crew member that you spoke of? And say, um, yes, this is him, and then I would have looked at him and go, four. Unfortunately, uh, luckily for us, we've got a lot of people on deck who have your skill set, so you can rest. He just follows you guys back to building eight, where all the other civilians are. It's mm -hmm. not just like those three. When you I yeah, it's like a bunch. I yeah, imagine, it's a yeah. bunch. Yeah, the other teams clearly had some uh, amount of success. Yeah, we only um, saved four. They probably saved like a dozen more together. Yeah, I'd say I'd say around that amount. Uh, but they walk in, uh, and you kind of the room uh, is. The room is there's like chatter amongst all the civilians and whatnot, and when he walks in, like the room doesn't like come to attention or anything. Like they kind of just like look over, they keep continuing their conversations, and like, oh fuck, uh, <laughs> they kind of he doesn't really he doesn't don the uh, he doesn't have the OG Arbiter armor on anymore, which is something he at this point he's donned like a new set of armor, so it's kind of yeah. like yeah, yeah, they can't they can't they're like this clearly this guy is some sort of importance, but uh. Who the fuck is he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they don't immediately recognize him. Yeah, you know fucking... how like in like uh, Mass Effect, like they make comments about like how like humans are like so easily recognizable because of the genetic diversity. Where like Turians are like it's hard to like tell. It's the all difference. Turians, yeah. yeah just They're... all Turians. Yeah. It's like the same yeah. thing with the Leeds. Or they all kind of yeah. look like, the same. Yeah. But either way, uh, they he walks he waits for you to point her out. Yeah, he's like he's like oh that's her, her name is Celia, her child's name is Trek. He walks over to her. And, uh, she goes, Sila, uh, do you mind if I had a word with you real quick outside, or in private? And she looks back at him, she goes, no, I wouldn't, but after you tell me who you are, at, uh, like, she's, like, tending the track, and, like, she gets up, and as she gets, like, closer to his face, that's when, like, it hits her, she's like, the Arbiter! And, uh, and he goes, no, Phil. He goes, this is the Arbiter, and he points to you. She's like, oh, right, he said that. That's something I wanted to talk to you about. I was like, no time for that. He goes, he's like, I'd have time to talk to you. I'd love to talk to you later when I have the time, but right now I'm in a rush. He goes, do you mind following me? And she goes, uh, sure. Uh, Trek, stay here, all right? And he kind of just looks, and, like, she looks down at him, and this guy is, like, foaming at the mouth, like, oh, uh, 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 <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> And uh, he kind of he walks away with uh, with Sila, uh, leaving Trek. Uh, she tells like she's like Trek, stay here. Uh, and, then? and then he walks away. Do you, do you follow or do you stay with Trek? Uh, what's the situation looking like around him? Is it just like, a bunch of chaos, a kind of like a bunch in, of like in this just... room specifically? Yeah, not really chaos. What I'm saying, just like um, I don't know. Uh, is it just like crowded? Like, is there like a lot of people? It's like uh, it's like a p. It's like half a PV size lunchroom, and. It's like the senior calf, <laughs> like half empty, uh, half uh, full. Okay. Okay. So then, yeah. Um. Honestly, uh, unless uh, yeah, Arbiter, or of, unless like, uh, there's a lot of chatter like going around. And, uh, yeah. And, and, unless Thel specifically tells him to go with him, uh, he would just stay with uh, Trek. Yeah, he. Uh, yeah. Actually, he would. He he wouldn't. Uh, he wouldn't signal you directly, but you know, if you stay here, you stay here. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, he, I mean, he knows what he's gonna talk to her about. I talked to her about, and he can update me afterwards. I don't want the kid to be here by himself. So. um... They go in the other room and uh, it's just kind of you don't really hear any overhear anything. They're just kind of talking quietly, yeah. you know, over the chatter. You can't really pick up much. Yeah, he's not even trying to. He's saying almost intentionally. Yeah, yeah, he's saying anything to yeah. track while you're here. Uh, he wouldn't. He wouldn't like say anything to him uh, specifically unless he said anything to him. He he kind of sits there for a minute and like the glaze over his eyes just kind of washes off. He says, "Oh, um, so sorry. That's that's." 
the art the 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 fell fell and he's like he gets caught up on like the arbiter keeps wanting to like say the arbiter he's like ah, 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 you're ah, fell yeah and he's like um he's like that's him Thovadom. He's a lot. He's a lot less cool in person, isn't he? He's like, are you kidding me? He's twice as cool as you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Did you see that armor that. he had on? It was gold and bronze. <laughs> it had all details in it. <laughs> and he's sitting Damn. there, and he, yeah, no, yeah, that, that's exactly the response Oda was trying to elicit. Yeah, that, that he'd say, um, and he'd just say, oh, I don't know, I, um, I think my armor is pretty cool. I mean, yeah, yours is pretty. You've got. You got the old shoulder blade. That's pretty cool. But that's that's really cool. <laughs> and then he laughs. Uh, he goes, and he's, he goes, like, I'm, I'm, he's like, I'm not trying to. I'm sorry. I didn't want to make fun of you. It's just, it's just really cool. He's like, no, no, you're right. You're right. I've been second rate to him for a long time now. He looks up to you. and goes, don't worry. After after you get your missions done, I'm sure you'll be just as legendary as him. <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> Um, but, alright, so another minute passes by, and all of a sudden you hear, like, a fucking lamp in the other room get thrown, and Sila walks out of the room pissed off. Oh, shit! Uh, he immediately stands <laughs> up, like, what, what's wrong? What happened? And he starts talking to Sila. She goes, go ask your Arbiter, or go ask Thel what is wrong, I'm sorry. And Thel, and Thel kind of walks out, uh, and he, uh, he looks at her and he goes, thank you for your time. And he... He signals you to follow him back. Uh, Yo, I'll uh, definitely try to like, touch her. Oda, Oda, Oda looks at her, uh, looks at looks at the kid, and then looks back at um at a uh, Thel, and he sort of walks up to him, and then um and he's like, "What what was that? What happened in there?" And like as he said, he would like be peeking into the room to like see the condition of it. Like, it's literally just like a single thrown lamp. Okay, and then he's like, he asks him, he's like, asks him, he's like, "What happened?" He goes, "Nothing. Just a simple difference, a uh, different philosophy on our on our." On our on our ideals is all he goes she was she was up until the last moment she was very cooperative in fact she's kind of nice care and, to explain with what that difference in ideals was oh you, he goes oh the reason you're the arbiter now you just explained that to her he goes yes it's something i feel everybody should know considering you're the you're the new arbiter you're a symbol of our people not just the swords of st helios what all did you tell her exactly? I told her why I made you the arbiter, and why. Um, I told her why you I made you the arbiter, and uh, not what the exact mission details, but the nature of the passing of the torch, if you may. She so. particularly didn't like how I kept our old traditions. He's like understandable. He's like it's something that quite a few people don't uh don't care to uh to uh don't care too much about now uh from our from from the past it's understandable not how i see it right of course he anyways um... for a second he goes i bet you're wondering why i've done this as well you haven't asked me have you i haven't i'm wondering but i haven't asked nor will i would you like to know if you'd care to tell it. He stops on the way back to building uh, 15. And he goes, he goes, listen, Oda, Arbor. He goes, the pe lots, a lot of the people, a lot of people think what we've done in the past is wrong. And you know what? They're right. The difference between me and a lot of other people is a lot of other people want to forget about the past. I wish to learn from the past. The past is not something we could just forget and pretend it never happened if we do not keep const if we don't keep a reminder around of how we fucked up how are we supposed to fix it i the reason i passed the torch to you after well you know what happened is so you can be a symbol is so you could be a symbol a reminder of what not to do again he's like unlike myself unlike the old arbiters that technically also being myself is you do not die you don't you do not redeem yourself in death you redeem yourself once you fix your mistakes. He's like, and I fully intend for you to do that. And he's like, do you intend for you to do that? And um, he would say, um, yes, I intend to, f to follow out the orders I, I was given to the fullest extent. They'll I be done. I didn't ask you to follow your orders. I asked you, 
Oda. What's your last name? Is it literally Oda Nobunaga? It's no no. It's Oda Tanaga. Oh, <laughs> Tanaga. He's like, I asked you, Oda Tanaga, not Arbiter, soldier, uh, soldier of the Swords of Sangelios. I asked you, Oda Tanaga. Will you carry? Will you redeem yourself? And then he sits there for a moment, and he um. Uh, he looks at him, and he goes, uh, "Is this some um, choice or the illusion of one? If I say no, am I out?" No. So then I'll get it done. He says, "Good." He goes, "Follow." And then me. he's, and then uh, he he would he would sort of just like like, are we outside? Uh, yeah, you, you yeah, kind yeah, of stop yeah. on the way to building fifteen. Yeah. After after he says that, he just looks he just looks up and he goes, "Depending on how many more of those ships Vorkum has." He goes, don't worry, Vorkum won't ever get the chance to pull a stunt like that again. We've already got the, we've already got plans settled. No no flagship in the fleet will ever be will ever be below uh, uh, the minimum required firepower to stop a glass before it happens. After that, we've er, we've talked to our tactician we've talked to our tacticians and other officers, we've begun coming up with different ways he can try and get us with a surprise attack. It won't happen again. Duh. He would nod, and then um, at that he would he would try the comms again. Uh, the comms are kind of just you can you can get very short messages through. It's like it's like if you were like, "Hey, where are you at?" You'd be like, "I'm at." Yeah, yeah. Location. Essentially, yeah. He's just like Zor. He's, he just goes in. He's like, "Zoro, are you alive?" Uh, Zoro, over your comms, uh -huh. you hear, you you hear Oda's like, "Oh, Zoro." Are you alive? Um, I uh, I go back. I say, um, Oda, I'm alive. En route to Fob. So on your end, you get alive, Fob. And then he just sigh and go, um, <clears throat> uh, and then um, he would he would say to Thel, and we go, Zora's alive, and um. If you have any more briefing to do, I want to wait for him to be here. Hmm. He goes. All yeah. the cross guard should be in, a, in attendance. He goes, let's go. All right, let's wrap this up by nine so we can just get Coop's campaign rolling. Mm -hmm. So right, yeah. we'll fast forward this a little bit. Uh, you walk for a little bit. You get back to the fob. At this point, uh, comms are mostly up, uh, and you know, radio operators are beginning to like contact outside forces outside of the island. Um, and you, the guards would tell you the same thing. They'd be like on high alert. As soon as they like see your figure come into shape, they'd be like, "Who the fuck is it?" You would answer Zoro, the cross guard. They'd be like, "All right, get the building 15 now." Uh, at this point, you don't know who's alive either, obviously, because right. what you heard was get the Oda. Yeah, Oda. Um, but you get to the building 15. You open it. You see Oda. You see Fear, uh, who's in a little bit better shape now than pretty what he was before. Uh, you see the Arbiter. You see the whole crew. Uh, all right. I walk in, and I uh, the first thing I do, I face. Of course, I face Arbiter. I do the salute. Um, and then I face everyone else, and I I just say uh. I just say uh, so how many of you bet against me coming back? Uh, at this point, Oda and Iga would be uh in the would be back in the room. Iga, you're kind of you're kind of summoned back as. They knew uh, Oda, uh, Zora was coming back, and he was kind of like the last one they were waiting on. Uh, so you say that, and a couple others, a couple others, like they're like, "What the fuck are you talking about that?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oda's, Oda's literally just, just, just sitting there, and he, he just like just looks at the, he just looks down to the left, and he's like, "Just uh, mm, uh glad you're back." Uh. <laughs> he goes, "Enough." He goes, e uh, "Zoro, any sort of." Uh, information that'd be pertinent that you learned on your trip back outside of what I've already discussed with C Lab. Alright, I I uh I turn to the Arbiter and I pull out the um the data that I had collected from the police station and I say uh um looking through the police station's files I was able to find uh data about their most recent shipment from the UNSC. Uh I say I assume Oda has already filled you in on the on the weaponry we discovered. Yes, in the marketplace. Me, yes, him and Sila both filled me in on that there was uh, weaponry in uh, Gorgon City, uh, UNSC Tech, modified for single use. He 
those and right, unfortunately well. we have no answers to why they're there it's like Ehab was caught in the glass room uh all right when he you know what when he says that i i i genuinely say i'm like damn we lost a lot um i turn over the uh, the the data to him and i say um hopefully this will help us find some answers uh in relation to uh what the unsc has been doing in part with this war yeah he goes just be well he passes the files off to his assistant that if you guys remember from like the first session <laughs> he's still just mm. hanging around um, <laughs> um i also want to tell him uh about the what were they the 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 phantoms that were around the cornfields and like all those farms that they were controlling mm -hmm. was that anything significant like would i be like oh that's weird i mean you it's something you could mention i mean you could film in and everything that happened you could talk about what the patrols were talking about you could talk about what you saw whatever you think is pertinent oh yeah, yeah that, okay. is, that, that is important that uh that yeah you heard yeah you heard that his patrols were like what the fuck was that like we didn't yeah. even fucking know that was gonna happen yeah um I, okay yeah so i would say uh from the data I was able to collect moving through <clears throat> the city and out through uh, part of the rural part of the area. Um, for starters, it seems that Vorkum's men had no idea that the glassing was going to take place. Uh, so much so that many of them were extremely caught off guard with their uh, shields going down as well as their columns. Um, they were completely unprepared for what had happened. And he sits there for a second, and he, he's like, damn it. He goes, like, you got to be kidding me. It's like, fucking is a madman. This means one of two things. One, he came up with this this morning over a bowl of St. Helios at breakfast. Or two, he truly doesn't care about all the Storm Covenant men. Everyone you fought, or any all the enemies and anyone you saw in the city were all Storm Covenant. None were uh, Rekshili uh, soldiers. Mm -hmm. so, um... Like everyone, you well, fought, like you've yet to fight a Rexili so Rex soldier. Yeah. So when he says that, I say, um, I say, well, I I assume it, it's the latter. Uh, moving throughout the city, the patrols within it were kind of ragtag. It seemed like outside of just smaller groupings moving wherever they'd like, uh, there was no real organization until I got to the outskirts, uh, or just before the outskirts. Um, the fields surrounding this area had, are they phantoms or are they ghosts? Phantoms. They had phantoms, uh, hovering and patrolling all throughout the, the overtop of the fields and the clearings while there were grunts and other soldiers along the ground. Uh, it makes quite a bit of sense that no one would be able to have cleared themselves out of the city or escaped. And... Or gotten in, vice versa. He goes, if they're patrolling, he's like, they were patrolling the fields. They, they're patrolling the fields. They truly are lost. They're just, at that point, just making sure that there wasn't any sort of random counterattack. That's that's the call I would make. And this is the Arbiter saying this. He's saying it out loud. And he goes, tell me. Did you, is, did any of, and he says it to, like, the room. He doesn't say it to, like, you guys. He's like, did anybody run into any sort of scouting parties? Uh, elites and most likely jackals and no grunts. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I will say that I ran into a, a stray jackal, but hmm. okay, yeah, you ran into a stray jackal, but they. Uh, yeah, we did. We did armor. too. Yeah. 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 You guys yeah. Ran into a, yeah. Ego would, would literally have the beam rifle to show for it. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's like, he goes, jackal snipers and no grunts. No grunts. He goes, it's a scouting party. He's like, you don't bring grunts in a scouting party. You don't bring grunts for a scouting party. They're too slow. They make too much noise. They're too stupid. Jackals, they're quick. They're nimble. They're light on their feet. And obviously, a uh, more Singhili for um, for leadership purposes. He's like, they truly have no idea what the fuck's going on. And he's, and it's, his brain gets, it's like when he, uh, an idea pops in his head. He goes, uh, he looks over. He goes, lat. He's like, are the Fury Warriors done with accountability? And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, not la Artaz. Uh, but he, he says it out loud, so you know anyone can't answer. But he goes, uh, last I checked, they are. They're, they're highest in command at this point. It's just a second lieutenant, which is not the high rank. Jesus Christ. 
just get him in here right now. And he uh, and he he says that, and he's like, he's already here, and he's like literally like right behind the arm. He's right here, sir, reporting for duty. He goes, son. He goes, you are in control of the Fury Warriors. He goes, I suppose I am, sir. If you have any sort of advice, he goes, lead them with all your heart. And he goes, what do, what do you think of the situation? He's like, what do I think of the situation, man? I don't, I don't know. I know that fucking Vorkum's crazy. He goes, he goes, listen, man. He's like, I, I'm here to do my best. I'm here to do my job. He's like, and I'm doing the best I can. And uh, and he goes, and Arbiter cuts him, cuts him off. Goes, and you're doing a fine job, son. Just get your bearings straight. He goes, you're right, you're right. He calms him down for a second. He goes, I know. He's like, what I feel. He goes, that Vorkum needs to be stopped at all costs. And he goes, will you follow me into battle? He goes, and he, and he stops for a second. And he goes, he's at, he's at a, he's at a loss for a second. He goes, ah, of course I will. And he, he stops on A. He goes, Thel. I'd follow, I, I'd have you and I'm, and all my men themselves would be glad to follow you of all people in the battle. And he goes, and he looks over Thel's shoulder and he goes, and you, Arbiter, you as well. If you come with, if you join us, and Thel looks back at you, and he goes, he goes, boys, we're going in for a counterattack. Well, they're, well, their pants, well, they're still pulling their pants back up. And then at that, fear from the corner, kind of like jumps up. Um, and he's like, yeah, it's time for some fucking payback, son of a bitch. And he's like, ah, son of a bitch. He goes, fear, you're <laughs> staying back here. Sit the fuck down. <laughs> And then that, at that, Odo o- 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 would literally just just sit there, and he would just let out like a like a, a moderately uh, high, just like here, here. Um, I'm gonna cut in. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say, um, well, this is quite exciting. Uh, I don't mean to shift the tone, but considering those of us that are here and are both are rank and stature amongst the sword uh i feel this is the perfect time for an official recognition of our current arbiter Um, i would like him to address why he's taken on the mantle in front of those in attendance insubordinate Sure. Sure. <laughs> he, uh, he, um, he looks, Thel uh, looks back at you and he goes, go ahead. And he, and he hands you, uh, a sword. I mean, you have a sword, but this is just like his sword. It's kind of like, it's uh, me. No, or... no, no. Uh, oh, okay. Oda the sword. And he goes, address your men. Uh, he's like, you, he's like, you will be in here with, with me and the rest planning out the attack. And he, and, he's, and he says, "Address your men." And he hands you the sword. Is like it's like a thing you hold up. It's a cool thing you got. Yeah. To make a speech, basically. Yeah. So he takes it and he just he holds it for a moment, and he just like sort of looks at it, and uh, he looks back and he goes, "Um, <clears throat> all right. I'm not gonna do it that way. Everyone, everyone. I was gonna start it off." I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna do that because everyone had retarded names. Okay, he's just saying. Um, uh. <laughs> They're traditional elite names. No, 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 no. I mean, all of the UNSC guys. I'm not even gonna bring uh, them into it. Uh, but Leroy, <laughs> 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 he's gonna say. Um, he's gonna look at it and um, and he's gonna say. Uh, um, I hadn't been. For those of you who are not in the know. I spearheaded a mission where where a team that I was in charge of were tasked with acquiring Vorkum's well we were tasked with acquiring Vorkum's allegiance to get him to help us fight the storm when we fought them well, well we um we did task for him, yeah, but as you know, I'll know he's crazy. He's out of his mind. I caught on to that early. 
we were, every day we were losing men. Every day the storm grew stronger, and he was stringing us along. So in a brazen, rash, and arrogant move, I tried to play one over on him, secure his allegiance, whether he liked it or not. And and then um, as you can as you all know from um, the situation we're in currently, he's not the type to take too kindly to that. Uh, the battle ensued, and I lost every single one of my men. And rather than they than stand there and die with them, I ran away. I made a mistake, one which I will likely never truly repent for. Any of the men that you've lost, any of you, any friends you know who've died, any old battle buddies who've lost their lives since Volcom's taken control of the storm here on Sanghelios, you owe their deaths to me. I'm responsible. And when, when Thel gave me this armor, and when he gave me this position, he gave me a second chance. And um, I never, it never really sat, sat right with me, and until now I didn't know why. It didn't sit right with me because he gave me a second chance, when he honestly stood to lose the least from my mistake. The rest of you stood to lose far more. And he gave me a second chance without consulting any of you. And then he, um, <clears throat> uh, he sort of hangs on that for a moment, then he looks like he looks over them and he goes, If we're to launch a counterattack, I'd like to make this right. To lay my life on the line. To be there on the front lines with all of you. I'd allow, I'd like to have a second chance to make this right, if you will all have me. Uh, cool. <clears throat> uh, roll leadership, what's your leadership? 30. Roll leadership plus 50. <laughs> it's pretty, it's a, it's a dope speed. I'm finna still fail, let's do it. No. Yeah, get a. Hey, <laughs> I was gonna say get a minus this one. This isn't something you're gonna fail. It just depends. It's just the reaction. Yeah. Yeah. At that, the room falls silent for about half a second, and behind the entire crowd, you hear a small voice, and it's Sila and Trek, and he goes, he goes, I'm with you, Arbiter, and he looks back. Everybody looks back, and they see the the hope in this kid's eyes, and they look at you, and they see. And they see the they see the arbiter. They no longer see Oda. They see the arbiter. And he goes, and one elite raises his hand. He goes, "I'll follow you, arbiter." And then like more and more and more, raise their hand. This is like, it's like, "I will follow you, arbiter." And like, who, who? Look after my captain. <laughs> they all just and they're all just sitting there like chanting you on. They're like, "Let's go, yeah, yeah." And they uh, and then uh, arbiter stepped you down from like the little podium or like a little like he kicked you like a box to stand on. Uh, and he goes, all right, let's get to work. And then, uh, we'll end it there. Uh, can I, Oda, uh, can we, can we do something real quick? Oh, you guys can do something. Since obviously I'm in it, I initiated something. Yeah. Uh, so then like after all that and like whatever people come up to you and whatever, uh, I come up to you and I, uh, pat you on the shoulder and I say, first, first thing I do say is I say, um, I suppose you're finally worthy of being called the Arbiter. And then I kind of grin. And I say, uh, you've got a whole lot more in your shoulders than I thought anybody would realize. And he's like, um, I care not for being worthy of the title, and more for being worthy of the people who hold it in reverence. I nod one more time, pat you on the shoulder, and that's that. Iga's going to st stand up too. He's going to go up to uh, the Arbiter or Oda 
and say, uh, he's gonna like stand it, like look him square in the face and say, We've all lost men. Uh, I respected Oda, but I serve the Arbiter. And he salutes. Oh shit. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Oda clearly gets a little emotional, and he would, uh, he would just, he would nod at that, and then he would just, he would literally be, like, fighting back, like, saying, like, like some saying Healy tears, and he would turn away so they didn't see it, and he would just say, just, like, his voice was breaking a bit, and he would just say, at ease. Alright, dope. And, and we'll call that there. Yo, I did not expect 